try and do everything we can. This field just south of Interstate 80 is clean and green today, but what a contrast to three months ago when KCRA 3 first showed you this former homeless encampment along Western Avenue. It looked much different back in November when this area was littered with trash and debris. Sacramento's impact team is comprised of police officers like Sergeant Greg Galliano, along with mental health workers who have been deployed to help the homeless find housing, thanks to $1 million in one-time funding from the city of Sacramento. We estimate about four, maybe five individuals who were camping out here found their way into the winter triage shelter. And that gives them a new opportunity? Gives them a lot of opportunity. They receive wraparound case management. And that means food, shelter, and counseling for people like Amanda Atwell, who was living in that Western Avenue homeless camp for three months before the impact team helped her find this temporary winter shelter, which has given her hope and new life. Um, it has changed dramatically. Um, I'm able to have clean clothes, just, um, a roof over my head, a bed. But many homeless campers prefer living outdoors. People like Carl, he gave us only his first name, told us it's hard to find shelters that will take his two pit bulls, and he's wary of having roommates. Here, if I don't like my neighbors, I can get, I get them to walk down the road and go this. In a shelter, you're kind of stuck with whoever they put next to you. But the impact team is trying to provide outreach and make a difference one homeless camper at a time. The goal for so many homeless people is to find some form of temporary housing, but this shelter is slated to close March 31st. In Sacramento, Mike Lurie, KCRA 3 News.